guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you because it's so easy and it's so delicious, but it's got a dynamite combination. It's my sweet potato and, ques uh, and, sweet potatoes and chorizo quesadillas. How delicious does that sound? The pairing of sweet and smoky spicy is just ridiculous and the ingredients are actually very few, they're just all the right ones. You'll need some sweet potato, I'll talk about this in just a minute, some Spanish chorizo which I've just cut into like half moon pieces, chopped onion, I've got some shredded gouda, I've got some chopped um, cilantro, some dried cumin, chili powder, salt and pepper and then you'll need your tortillas and just a couple extra ingredients uh, along with some vegetable oil which I have heating up in this pan. Now for my sweet potato, I just took a sweet potato yesterday, peeled it, cut into about half an inch cubes maybe, and just boiled it in some, and just cooked it in some boiling water for about five minutes and then I just let it cool completely. This is pretty much fully cooked, it just needs another five minutes or so which is going to get that five minutes in the skillet. As far as the chorizo, I'm using Spanish chorizo, I'm not using the Mexican sausage chorizo, I'm just using the Spanish kind today and then for the cheese you could use any cheese that you like. I just love the sort of smoky gouda with the smoky, the smokiness that comes from the smoked paprika in the chorizo. I just think that both are, just work together really, really well. That's why I'm using that. Now in the skillet, I got some vegetable oil. I'm going to add in my onion right along with my chorizo. I kind of packed this tight, but that's okay. I'm just going to let those cook until the chorizo releases its delicious flavor, the onion starts to cook down and just does delicious things. I'm going to put this over medium heat, I don't need it to be too, too hot. That looks amazing, it's been about five minutes now, yes the chorizo has given out a lot of its natural, you know, a lot of its fat, um, and I'm not going to drain it just yet because I want my sweet potatoes to cook in that and sort of soak up some of the flavor. So when I get, you know, when I let them cool for a bit and I, sp you know, spoon the mixture into for my quesadillas, I won't grab all that fat though, so we'll be okay. Some salt on my sweet potatoes along with my cumin and my chili powder. Give this a really good stir. Being careful though because you don't want to mess up those potatoes, you don't want this to be mushed up potatoes. So just give these a good stir and let these cook on medium heat for about seven to eight minutes or so or until the potatoes develop a little bit of color and everything just kind of cooks together nicely and try your best to put everything in one single layer like I'm trying to do so that it develops some color and a little bit of crust on the potatoes. That looks great. I'm going to add in my cilantro, nice freshness, whoa buddy. Stir this together, turning it off because it is done. We've got a good color. I ate a piece of chorizo, that's why I'm somewhat still chewing. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take this out into this bowl just because I want this to cool a bit. I'm just going to use my one spoon. I want my mixture to cool a bit before I go ahead and um, use it in my tortilla. Now I'm going to make my quesadilla in the same pan, I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel, wipe it down, that's just how I feel like doing today. I'm going to let this cool just a bit and then we'll be ready to uh, make our quesadillas. What I have here are some uh, whole wheat tortillas, you could use any tortilla you like, this is just what hap it happens to me what I have on hand. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of vegetable oil, that was a little bit too much but that's okay. I'm going to brush it on one side, that'll be our next tortilla is already done, how about that? And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my cheese, put this on one side, like a half moon, and then you take some of your filling, slightly cold, it's not too, too cold just yet. Remember you don't want to overfill these, otherwise they'll burst a bit. And then top that with a bit more queso, and then close it up like a tightly sealed envelope, or not. Turn that down just a bit, and then I'm going to put this in my skillet, and this is over about medium heat. It's going to take a couple minutes on each side until the cheese is melted and the tortilla is nice and golden brown. I'm just going to keep doing 
the rest of them and I will show you what they look like when they are done and then we have one more little quick little thing to do before we serve them that I think just really finish these, finishes these off on, uh, on a high note. To serve alongside my quesadillas, I want something that's cool and refreshing, so I'm making just like my lime sour cream, which is just sour cream, a little lime zest, a smidge of lime juice, a crack of black pepper, and then I like to just put a very small pinch of salt and mix those two together. And I really feel like with this specific quesadilla, this is like a really important step because You've got the sweet potato, which is, hence the name sweet potato, it's sweet. And then you've got the chorizo. And then you've got the spices. You need something that's a little bit cooling and a little refreshing. And I feel like this is perfect. So I'm just going to turn this off. I'm actually going to grab the very first one because it's had a chance to cool a bit. Because you know I'm going to go right in. Cut it into pieces. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to put this down because for now I'm just going to top it with a little bit of my sour cream. And I'm going to town. Wow. That is perfection. Mmm. You need to make these if you love quesadillas. So hot though. Mm -mm. A lovely little twist on a classic. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Go on all over to Laura in the kitchen.com to get the recipe. Mm. I'll see you next time. Bye.